In this lesson, I'll discuss how to find the intercepts of a circle. The question reads, find the center and radius and sketch the graph of the circle that's in standard form given by this equation. Also find any intercepts. As mentioned, when the equation of a circle is in this format, we call it standard form. And if you look at this general statement here, that number and that number signify h and k, which is the center of the circle. So if you see minus one here, it's actually positive one. And if you see positive 2 here, it's minus 2. The reason why it's the opposite is because if we match this equation to the general format, this part is like saying x minus positive 1. And this part is like saying y minus negative 2. As you can see, if you simplify this, it becomes y plus 2. But since we want to match it to that, you have to look at it in this format. And this is why it's negative 2. Essentially, you just take the opposite sign of what's written there. So this was minus 1, it became positive 1. This was plus 2, it became minus 2. In addition, this part, the constant, gives us an idea of what the radius is. So we have 9 is equal to r squared. If we square root both sides, we end up with 3 is equal to r. So we know that our radius will be 3. So our radius is 3 units, our center is at 1 and negative 2, we also need to find the intercepts. To find the intercepts, take a look at the image on your screen. Notice that a circle may cross the x and y intercept. When it crosses the x intercept, y is equal to 0, and when it crosses the y intercept, x is equal to 0. So what we can try to do here is substitute x is equal to 0 and find out what the y-intercepts will be. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'll set x is equal to 0, and if I do that, I end up with 0 minus 1 squared plus y plus 2 squared is equal to 9. This part is negative 1 raised to the power of 2 plus y plus 2 squared is equal to 9. Simplifying further, 1 plus y plus 2 raised to the power of 2 Bringing that 1 over, 9 minus 1 is 8, y plus 2 squared. Square rooting both sides. And you'll know that you don't have a y-intercept in this case if this number happened to be negative. If it's negative, then you end up with imaginary numbers and you can't specify an intercept on an xy plane. So the square root of 8, we'll leave it like that. And on the left side, we have y plus 2 the square root of 8 minus 2 is the y-coordinate of the y-intercept, and this will be plus minus 8. Let's compute this number. Using our calculator, the square root of 8 minus 2, that's one of the versions, and that outputs at 0 0.828. Let's write that down, 0 0.828. That's if it's positive. You also find out when it's negative what the number will be we get negative 4.828, negative 4.828, and we have an x-coordinate that's 0. And we repeat the process for when y is equal to 0, and we solve for x. Let's go ahead and quickly do that. x minus 1 squared plus, this time, 2 to the power of 2, 9. 9 minus 4 and that's equal to 5. We're taking the square root of that. I'm doing this really quickly because you just saw how it was done. We'll take that over, plus minus the square root of 5, plus 1. Let's use our calculator again. 5 plus 1, and then we'll do the negative version. So that's 3.236, 3.236, and now the negative version. It's negative 1.236, negative 1.236. So the y's will be 0. And now we can go ahead and plot this. Let's create an xy plane, just like that. And we're only sketching here, so we're not looking for something that's perfect. We'll start with the center being at 1 and negative 2. Let's say that's 1 and negative 2 is down here. So that's the center, represented as c. The intercepts will be 0 and 0 
let's say it's over here, and another one over here. And we have these intercepts. Let's try our best to be accurate. That's this point, and that point will be right here. So what I'm assuming it looks like is that you have a circle. This is going to be tough. You have a circle like that. I'm trying to maintain the same radius all throughout. It's going to be tough. Something like this. And if you do this more accurately, let's say on a grid paper, it will look more accurate. So we'll say that from here to here is the radius. And that's consistent, even though it doesn't look consistent because of my drawing is consistent throughout the circle. And there you have it. That is how to find the intercepts of a circle.